Here's my third video. Uh, Tesla Raj produced some daytime video. I cleaned up the video by increasing the size of the uh, screen so we can see it a little better and zooming into the picture a little better. Welcome to Tesla Life. Tesla, please use my referral code, Nicholas4590. So they start out on a local road with no road line markings and uh, they're able to turn it on, which is very cool. I guess they just put in a destination and it just starts driving down uh, the road, local road uh, and it stays on the right hand side, which is a, what a normal driver would do. It's smart enough to do that, which is very cool. Red line again is the road edge, which it identifies and it identifies intersections real nice, like right there. Uh, it identifies the car, parked cars as red. Uh, I guess that means stationary. Takes this nice uh, long turn to the left and then a sharp turn here to the right. And this right turn, I believe, coming up, not this one, but the next one, has a, uh, some road line uh, a divider. So you'll see coming up right about here is a hard right turn. And notice the yellow line in the center there, which identifies the uh, turn. It's a double line. But the rest of the road here doesn't have any lines. Uh, and so it knows it's smart enough to stay on the right-hand side. Identifies trash cans. Every trash can is identified. And all the parked cars are identified, even parked cars that are in driveways. Um, it's going to come up to some turns here, which are some interesting turns, right and then left, and then it comes to a stop sign, and it stops, goes all the way to the stop sign, remember that, uh, stop sign line. See some cars in front of it, waits, and then starts up by itself, very cool. The blue line again is the uh, path, that blue line turns white when it can't proceed. Here it knows to get over to the left, it goes over three, uh, two lanes to get in the left lane to be able to make a left at this light. Now this light is red for the left turning lane, which it knows to stop at, and then the other two are green, so it's smart enough to know that it should stop at this, uh, uh, at this uh, red light, red left turning light. It's going to wait for the lights to turn uh, green. Uh, it identifies all the cars moving. The cars, uh, those are purple cars. I don't know exactly what purple identifies. There's a yellow car uh, coming at it, maybe. Uh, maybe perhaps uh, passing. So as soon as it turns green, notice the line turn blue for its navigation path. That lets it know it can go or lets you know that it's it's uh, going to proceed. It's going to go down this road, uh, again, picking up the cars that are red. So here's another clip. Uh, we're going to come up to an intersection and watch how it stops well in advance of the stop line uh, there and waits here uh, to make a right. Turns on its blinker. It probably can see the cross traffic uh, so it doesn't have to pull up. It does pull up a little bit here, but it pulls up to go. So it's interesting why it stopped uh, early there compared to the other intersection that we just saw. So again, uh, it sees uh, the line, uh, uh, lane divider, uh, yellow on the left, white on the right, parked cars, picks up every car, and um, it's just going to go down this road for a while. Again, here's a whole line of cars. It did shuffle right there a little and then it adjusted, uh, identifying every car. And it's just gonna go down this road. Let's see what happens. Uh, I believe we're gonna come up to another intersection. And here it can't, it gets confused. It wants to go over in that right turning lane, but I think the green uh, bicycle lane confused it and it tries to go to the right but it can't get past this truck because it wants to get over in that right turning lane and so it tries but it can't until that truck moves so we have to wait for that truck to move forward then it proceeds to get over to the right turning lane because it's going to be making it right at this light it pulls up 
and it's funny how it sort of moves slowly here now i believe this is a right on red so it's going to sit here and wait for a lot of traffic to pass by watch all the traffic and it's in, and it creeps up a little bit more and then a lot of traffic comes by i still don't fully understand the different colors a lot of purple cars there which i would think would be in our way uh and then they some of them turn green like it, it could get behind one of those green cars but i guess it sees other traffic coming and then it'll eventually start up here and uh, be able to get in uh behind that a car uh yeah every time it thinks it can get behind a green car i guess it uh, it tries and it finally does because i guess there's no other cars coming so i don't think it waited for the uh, light to turn green there it just uh, sort of uh, made it right on red which is pretty awesome okay so we're driving down now uh, we're going to see it shuffle over i believe oh no here we're just going to get behind a whole bunch of traffic i stopped the video here and because we're waiting here for a long time we start it back up and the light turns green and uh, we're able to just follow the cars in front of us Notice it identifies all the cars around us. And there's a motorcycle coming up to the left of us uh, there. Uh, it picks that up. And I believe it's going to shuffle to the left lane here by itself. There it goes. So it goes and makes a lane change again on a local road. And it does that because later on in the video here, we're going to see that uh, the road sort of veers to the right uh like a v you can either go left or right and that right furthest lane uh would go right and i guess we want to go straight but it does that well in advance because that this uh, v intersection is not going to be for a little while so we're following uh, a car well in front of us it identifies that car well in front of us as green that's the one we're tracking and then another one comes in front there we just saw another car come in front Notice how it, it identifies the divider, road divider in purple, uh, and uh, all the intersections or streets. We go through an intersection. Notice it doesn't uh, put the lines, lane lines through the intersection. It uh, looks like a normal intersection, but it knows how to drive straight through it, which is relatively normal. There's that V turn to the right. If we were in the right lane, we would have gotten confused, so it knew to get into the left lane. Uh, I would have liked to seen in the video the original uh, navigation of where it was trying to go to. Uh, that would be interesting. They didn't show that in the video. I would have liked, liked to seen how they started the whole um, uh, trip. So here we're just going down a road. Again, the car in front of us is green. Cars uh, to the left of us, I think, are blue. Uh, also notice how it doesn't um, that car turned in, turned into a uh, parking lot and it didn't hesitate as much as it does. I hate the current uh, auto uh, cruise control when a car turns it really uh, is delayed. It looked like it went a little faster through uh, that car turning off. Now it's got the right blinker so it's wanting to make a right. Uh, it navigates. Uh, with the car in front of us, but it's going to let that car go and then navigate to the right, making another right turn. So it's making all these turns on local roads, which is just so cool. And uh, I think this is coming up to the end of the video. There's a Tesla supercharging station to the right here. And once we pass it, I think this video is done right there. So we're going to be done uh, right here. The last video coming up is a roundabout and uh, we don't get to see the screen too well i would have liked to see the screen but you can see on the navigation there's a roundabout and it's going to go all the way around to the far left road uh, and uh, it did it all by itself it's very very cool hey thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe on the top left and share the video with your friends my other model 3 videos are here in the middle if you want 1,000 miles of free supercharging, please use my referral code listed on the bottom. My Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts are on the right. And check out my new channel, Pickleball is Life. It's a great game, and subscribe on the bottom left. Take care.